Hey, it's me, Manic Mark, coming to you from the bunker system located underneath the Art Villa found somewhere in the jungles of the Midwest. And today I'm coming to you with a pretty good stack of records. I got up today, didn't have anything pressing. Well, there's always things pressing, but nothing I couldn't put off. And uh, decided to um, make a, a one of the longer, like a big, giant, looping record run. Uh, so I got on the freeway and went out to a Salvation Army uh, I haven't been to in months. And I found a few things there. Uh, then I decided to go to a St. Vincent de Paul, not the one I always talk about, but one that I have to fight my way through a lot of traffic. It takes a while to get there. I get there, I'm looking around, no records. I say, hey, don't you have any records? And the woman said, no, two women came in recently and bought every single record we had for some kind of project. So what were they doing? Were they, you know, using them for shingles for a roof or... A roof, a roof, a roof. Or, you know, using the album covers for something anyway. They, 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 yeah. So then, I, and then I, I realized I didn't have quarters to put in the meter to go to my favorite record store, which is down in the ghetto. And it requires that you be really careful where you're parking. You put money in the meter. Um, so I thought, well, I'll stop in Newport. And I stopped at the one record store there. Records and CD Barn, that's the name of it. <laughs> Cracks me up. We're not fooling around, that's it. It's records and CDs, but it's not a barn. Now that you mention it, now that I mention it, it's not a barn. It's a turn of the century, 18th century um, storefront. So then I went to the Goodwill, which you know, I don't, and, and it was like, there were bins, but it was all trash. Okay, so then I went to the real record store. Oh, well, I was in the CD and Record Barn, uh, the guy that, that owns the place was there. He left, he left it in charge with another guy who's apparently a heavy duty record collector. Okay, so he's talking to some other guy that's in the shop. And he goes, well, you never know what you're gonna find. I was on my way back from Chicago when I stopped someplace uh, to check out this record collection that was advertised on Craigslist. And there were 800 classical music albums in pristine condition. And they have all the records were in the, the plastic sleeves with the paper and plastic, you know, the best ones to have a record to, you know, for a record to live in. I just pulled all of those out and threw all the albums away. I kept the sleeves. So he paid $300 for 800 records and kept the sleeves because to him, the sleeves were more valuable than the pristine classical music albums, which he threw away. Okay, I think that was the only story. I didn't really have anything. Pretty much all the, everything kind of agreed with me today as I went places. So I've got some fun records. I was down in the basement of my favorite record store and found Stan Kenton's City of Glass. I was very excited. I've been looking for that record on 10-inch. It is 10-inch, I think. And I pulled the record out, it was the wrong one in the jacket. Fortunately, I looked at it. But right behind it was Stan Kenton's Encores with this nifty surrealist cover. Now, it's in very good shape, so I just bought it. I think I got it, but I don't think I have it on 10 inch. Did it, was it on an EP? Was it, did it come out on like an EP set? I swear to God, I got it. Anyway, Barbara Carroll, this is a wonderful uh, it's a tra jazz trio, okay? It's a wonderful cover. It's one of those rare uh, gatefold, RCA gatefolds, okay? And did I see a date on it? Usually they have a date. 1954, this goes all the way back to 1954. In the other record store, just so happens I picked up a Barbara Carroll RCA, another one of those uh, RCA gatefolds, okay? Barbara Carroll RCA from 1955. So this just comes one year after that one, I don't know anything about it. It's Mar 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 Margie Singleton, Harper Valley PTA. Okay, there's Margie. Well, she's put on a little weight since one of the uh, other. I, um, I, I, she did like a record, maybe like for Crown or something. And then I've got a real budget one she did, and this is on Pickwick. I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, apparently she uh, two or three records. Anyway, there's one. Okay, country, country singer. Uh, the Limelight Singers and Orchestra on Diplomat, complete budget record, Bonnie and Clyde. Then, also for a dollar, I found this one. It's the budget. 
budget compatible label. Lady Madonna, Lady Madonna's on this one. Lady Madonna, children at your feet, wonder how you managed to make ends meet. Who finds money when you pay the rent? Did you think that money was heaven sent? Friday night arrives without a suitcase Sunday morning creeping like a nun Monday's child is learning to tie his bootlace See how they run Lady Madonna, baby at your breast Wonders how you managed to be the rest This looked interesting. It's calendar speaks low, red calendar playing the bassoon. I don't. I, I guess that's what it is. Tuba. Damn. Get your big giant horn thing straight, buddy.
choose they almost bought this record at the record store i went to the day when they had it but it was like 20 bucks or something like that but it was a far better copy than this which i paid four dollars for uh, elizabeth says she's got a she's liz sing sexily that it's just it i haven't seen her anywhere else and it's a great vic cover vic had some excellent photography on their covers now, here's an unlikely uh, Andre Previn and David R Rosell. I haven't seen this one before, like Blue, but it's just a sophisticated uh, album cover anyway uh, for those two who sometimes didn't have such sophisticated covers, especially David Rose. A Go Go Guitars, Jerry Cole. Go Go Guitars. And here's one I may have had in the past, don't remember, probably got rid of it. I, I just don't, I may even blogged it. But it's a, it's a Somerset, but it's a unique cover in that it's just a street scene. There's been an accident, 
somewhere in a city. And I bought this, it's Wayne King, which I, eh, but I bought it because Just Add Kittens. That's right, Just Add Kittens. Pretty wild, Bill Davidson with strings. That's a pretty wild cover there. She's pretty much totally a budget compilation from, where is it from? Caracas, Colombia. This one's from Colombia, it's 14 Canadas. Uh, this looked interesting. Oscillations, it's a box set, okay? Produced by Electrosonic Studio Project, Corporation for Public Broadcasting, and the University of Wisconsin Extension by the Electrosonic Studio during the years 1972 to 75. Okay, Mike said, eh, I think there's one good record in it. With some kind of science fiction music on it, so it was worth the price I paid for it. Oh, I don't know. After back to the one dollar bin. It doesn't matter how much I paid for that stuff because I take him records just enough that he can trade me and I can give him a little extra money because I'd like to keep him in business. Mike, this is a great cover. It's Glenn Du D Lu D Nila Pazazi Pazapa PZ Pizai. Also from the one dollar bin, it's Sam Lazar playback. All right, let's check that. The record is pretty rough. <laughs> Everybody likes jazz. All these people who do uh, the things that they do like jazz. Wait for me. Another outstanding hits by the Playmates. It's the Playmates. Donnie Moore and Chic. Chick. Chick. Ray Charles and Genius in Soul. Ray Charles Genius in Soul equals jazz. It's a great cover. It's Kitty White. Kitty White on Emissy. Emissy. Just a great cover. Also in the three for a dollar deal today was uh, Instrumental Love Machine, Soulful by the Night Strings. A couple of gospel records. It's Hil 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 Hillary Underwood. There she is in the middle right there. And, and I I don't know if they took the photograph at the same damn time or not. It's almost impossible that she looks exactly the same. Covers of many Poco albums are pretty awesomely, you know, photographs. This one's not that, but it's Ping Pong Percussion Poco. This looks weird on Nap. It's Shango, Night in a Quiet Village, Kip Anderson and the Tides. Bought this for the cover. Just a nice cover. Fontana's Orchestra Budget. Master Seal. Percussion Around the World. I've had this. Picked it up. Why? Because I think it was a, a dollar. Picked it up for trade. It's the Swingle Singers. Going Baroque. I know, I know. And I like it. I like the Swingle Singers and when they do this stuff, like the Bach stuff. And now they're going Baroque. Chris Montez. Watch what happens. I bought one of his albums a while back, and I really liked it. And I bought another one. I really liked it. I don't have this one, and I suspect that I really like it because there's something about his voice that's really different. The tonal quality of his voice is very much different than any other male vocalist I've heard. And this one, um, why would they make a... a, a a, a compilation album featuring African Caribbean and early American, like Jesus Wept is band five and Sama Gawaza is band two. What an interesting Laura Nero. Laura Nero, I don't know who she is, but it was in the stack. This is a great cover, a great cover on Decca. Looks like about 1957, 58, right there. So you can see. From the stack. Now, I'm cutting this part in just to say now we're going to play the musical sample. Um, say that again, you're burping through the whole thing. Oh my god. 